animal shelter is? I need to pick up my dog before it closes. Um, I think it's on King Street, about five blocks north of here. Thanks a million. Or maybe more. <laughs> Mentions make sense? Yeah. Am I interrupting? Yeah, but I appreciate it. Time flies when creating, huh? I'm not sure this is coming together. Isn't that for others to decide? Yeah, I guess. They do pay good money for it. I wish I could make a living by expressing myself. Hmm. Being a high school administrator is not the most lucrative career. Especially when I see the kind of income the parents of these kids make. Well, but you're helping to shape and mold young minds. While losing my own. Speaking of young minds, how's Christy doing? She's 15 and already has decided to enroll in the... Yeah, he'd be 47 years old today. And they never caught the guy. We got birthday cake. You want a piece? Before dinner? No. <laughs> Dessert. Thank you, but I have to finish my wallpapering. You could hire a handyman. Can't afford one. Mom, I'm home. Mmm, <laughs> chocolate chip mint. No. A spoiled dinner. Ha! Huh. Uh, we should have done this a long time ago. I know. Oh, my God. No. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. Wait, when are we going to get a new car? Oh, just give me a break, Kendra. Just let me think. Think about what? I mean, you want to leave a dead girl in the back of the car with our prints all over it? No. No, we have to do the switch, like we said. It's fine. Never mind, I have a better idea. Get out. What? Get out of the car. Started. We are gonna push it. You are gonna push it. You are something else. All right, princess, here we go. <laughs> Faster. Faster! What? 
faster! Why don't you push it? Get in the car! Hail to the metal, baby! Go! Go! Do you want to help mom with dinner? You want to help your daughter with her homework? You need my help? No. But it's nice to know what's available. <laughs> no. <laughs> Teen angst rules. in the back. Perfect timing, Chad. I hope you like burnt lasagna. Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> Liar. I saw your eyes move to the right. Telltale sign of fibbing. Oh, they're following you walking. A likely story. Hey, who's the criminal lawyer here? Yeah, but this is Christy Holmes, Sherlock's long lost kid. Oh, well, fiction was my favorite part. Now you tell me, am I lying? I bet you could beat a polygraph test. I bet you're right. <laughs> it's a really lovely pendant, Christy. It's, uh, say, Michael's, right? He's the warrior angel. The patron saint of police. My father gave it to me. Let's toast him, hmm? Hey, Mom, where's my wine glass? It's bad luck to toast with water. Oh, then we'll just have to deal with it. Come on, young lady. <laughs> to a great cop and an even better father. The cold case. Well, if there's ever anything I can do, just ask. Mom, can I be excused, please? Before dessert? What do you mean? You love chocolate chip mint. Maybe later. I'm full. She never seems to take off that pendant. No. Look, I'm sorry, so I don't mean to... No, uh, Chad. It's been two years. It's time to work on closure. I'm glad you came. Me too.
Get back here, you little brat! That's far enough, Ashley. Get away from me. Not gonna happen. John, what are you doing here? This isn't a social call, so. Okay, good. We have another situation. Detective Morris? What's going on? I don't know. Does this have something to do with Dad's murder? No. Uh, is there somewhere we can talk privately? Oh, yes. Sure. Honey, wait in the car, okay? Oh, come on. You can't be serious. What? I'm, I'm sorry, Christy. It's just, this is between your mom and I. I'm not a child anymore. Just, this is not a discussion. I'll get it. Stupid telemarketer. Okay, car, now. Going. Okay, what's going on, John? Well, uh, we have another situation. It's not in the press yet. We're trying to keep a lid on it. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you just kept it between us. Just spit it out, okay? <clears throat> There's been another kidnapping. Who? Fifteen-year-old girl named Ashley Whitmore was. Sounds familiar. Could this be related? Possibly. That's why I'm here. If they if they are related, then I want to make sure I get them this time. Good. Because I don't want any more families to suffer the way we have. Susan, I want them as badly as you do. Sorry if I find that hard to believe. Frank was my partner. I've searched every day for his killers. After the kidnappings ceased, the, the, the trail went dry, you know that. And if they are back, I will do what I can to take them. Can I help? Um, does, does Frank have any personal files around the... Any notes about the case? Well, I thought your department took everything after he died. Yes, we took all of his active files, but you know as well as I do, Frank was old school. Yeah, the guy jotted everything down on paper, ideas, questions he had, theories, no, stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I will look around. See what I can find. I really have to get used to this school. Yeah, understood. I, uh, I'm sorry to drop by unannounced, but... Yeah. But thanks. And oh. <clears throat> Look, I appreciate your help, Sue. If you uh, if you find anything, just call the office. Yeah, we will. Thanks for coming by.
Sorry about that. If you're late, I'll give you a note. So, what was that all about? <sighs> Another girl went missing yesterday. Could be related to your father's case or it could not. Hey, beautiful. Thanks. I needed that. Bad day? For Ashley Whitmore and her family. I just dropped Christy off at school. Detective John Morris stopped by this morning. Yeah, he told you about the missing girl? You know about this? I have my reliable snitches. So I have a question for you. If you were an old-fashioned by-the-book detective... He doesn't know what about, what about, um... Behind a filing cabinet, taped to the bottom of a desk drawer. Maybe behind a photograph. Be serious. Didn't you tell me he was into spy novels? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Chad, I will call you back. Red dirt on tire. Multiple perps. Inside job. Wonder if he means in the department. Yes? Uh, yes. Hello. Is this Susan? Uh, who's calling? Phil Stoppard, the Stoppard Galleries in San Francisco, remember? Oh, yes. Hi, Mr. Stoppard. Gosh, we really are looking forward to the opening. Yes, we all are. In fact, we've got such a favorable reaction. We're moving up the opening to this weekend. Have you not been following the media? Oh, no, no, I've been busy. Right, well, I've booked two tickets tonight. Tonight? Yes, it's not an issue, is it? Oh, no, no, of course not. I'm, um, what a miss is for the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, again. Oh, fantastic. I'll see you there, then. Okay, bye-bye. Hello? Bye. Bye. Hi, Susan. Oh, Terry. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. The front door was ajar. I thought you were back working in your studio. Yeah, no, no, no. That's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm just a little jumpy. Too much coffee? Uh, no, actually. Detective John Morris stopped by this morning. <sighs> That'll do it. Oh, I know. The police are keeping it quiet. They don't want to cause a panic, but he thinks it might be related to the kidnappings two years ago. He asked if Frank had any notes around. You mean lying around the house? And then, um, Stoppard Galleries called me. Remember? From San Francisco? They're so excited. The buzz has been so great. They're moving up the opening. When? Tonight. That is so exciting. You deserve it. I really want Christy to go, but she has finals and I... I can't miss this. I don't know. I just can't miss this opening. And you shouldn't. It's only a two-hour flight. Listen, I could look in on Christy while you're away. Maybe even spend the night if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna make a call. Hello again. Hi. Glad I got you. I have a question for you. What's up? Well, how would you like to take an all-expense-paid trip to San Francisco with me tonight? How can I turn that down? I knew we should have done this one by ourselves. Yeah, we needed the money, remember? I had a feeling... I get it, I get it, I get it. But look, what's done is done. Besides, we got a lot bigger problem. And it's not just kidnapping anymore. What? You know, it's a miracle the ice cream stays solid in this house. I mean, it's never in the freezer long enough. 
It takes 43 minutes to melt. I know. I've timed it. Why? So it wouldn't melt before I got home. Hmm. So, Mom, why can't I... Tara will keep an eye on you. I'm a little old for a babysitter. I know that. I'm aware. But safety in numbers, okay? Mm, I'm late. So go. I love you. I know. I'm quite lovable. Mm -hmm, if you're not being a brat. Like I said, teen angst rules. Hey. Hey. You ready? Yeah. How come Chad's going? Ah, uh, you know, I got uh, two days off for good behavior. Yeah. Remember, no boys while I'm gone. Not a problem. I only like men. Lose something? Oh, Miss Simmons. I didn't hear you knock. I used a spare key your mom gave me in case of an emergency. You knew I was coming over? Yeah. You know, students, parents, colleges they want to attend, you know, what's feasible and what's not in their budget. Fun stuff, right? So, you're working in here? Do you mind? Your mom said it would be okay. You can study here with me. Uh, no. I'll be in my room. What is it? I'm busy. Where are you? I'm over at the baker's place. What? No. Don't. I said... Hello? Hello? Hey. Oh, Christy. Sorry. Uh, I'm having a slight family emergency. My brother's in a bit of a bind. I might have to step out for a few minutes. I'll get it. Can I help you? Honey, it's okay. They came over to see me. This is my younger brother, um, Damien, and his girlfriend. Mika. Hi, Christy. You know me? Of course we do. Yeah, I mean, Terry's told us all about you and your parents. Really? Really? Hey, those are my father's files. Ah! What the hell? I told you we had a situation with the Whitmore girl. Yeah, well, now we have two situations. Get her and that file! Hello, Susan Brown is unavailable to answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Christy. Mmm. Chocolate chip mint. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. Oh, there you are. Hello, sweetheart.
I told you we were coming over to discuss the Whitmore girl, but you kept ignoring me. Because we were done with this operation two years ago when Frank Baker got too close to us, remember? <laughs> yeah, you took care of that, didn't you? And now we have to take care of his daughter because of you two knuckleheads. You wanted out, we needed the money. Oh, you think I don't remember? <laughs> Ashley Whitmore was the next victim I selected? We were gonna cut you in. You were gonna scam me. Okay, where do you want us to take her? Criminate us. Hey, what about the... Like the beautiful sculptor you are. <laughs> Come on, please. Hey, why? Wow, using my best lines and not even paying attention. I'm sorry, I'm just worried. I don't know why Christy hasn't called me back. Oh, she probably just went out for a bite to eat with Terry. Did you check your messages? Yeah. Could have called oh, her. Oh. Who was that? Sounds like she pocket dialed me. I'm just gonna call her and uh, just tell her that we landed okay. Okay, but we're late. Yeah, I'll just be a minute. Uh, just hope you're studying and not driving Terry nuts. So call me. Love you. Call me when you get this. Bye. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hi. Susan, hello. I'll get the gas. You keep her quiet. Number two. Hey. Sue, she's a teenager. She probably doesn't want you calling every 15 minutes. Now who are you calling? I am just gonna call the house. Okay. Hello, Baker residence. Terry. Hi, it's me. Uh, how are you? Stand out of breath. Yeah, I just ran back from my place. I forgot my highlighters for the transcripts I'm reviewing. Uh-huh. So is everything all right? Yeah, I just left Christy in her room. She's been listening to music and studying all evening. Do you want me to get her? Yeah, that would be... Um, Christy! Your mom's on the phone. She's getting... Christy! Susan, now don't panic, but Christy's not in her room. Where is she? I honestly don't know. Is she all right? No. Oh, my God. Susan. for good. You got it? Mm hmm Now listen to me. You're not going to get hurt if you behave. In fact, if you're a really good girl, I'll get you a treat. How about chocolate chip mint ice cream? Yeah, would you like that? Mm, mm, mm. What? Do you need to say something? <laughs> Scream and you're dead. Bathroom. You can't hold it.
Got a sweet tooth, huh? I have a sweet. Every... A key to the bathroom, I hope. Oh, yeah. I do. All right, it won't do you no good, though. The bathroom's out of order. There's a porta potty around inside. It's open. Thank you. Wait, you? No. All right. You better not. There you go, buddy. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You ever see? No, I'm good. Thank you. Have a good day. through plastic. too hard last night. You get it? Uh, Not smart. I tripped. I'm sorry. You will be. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. daughter. Susan, you got back fast. Yeah, we took the first flight out. Is she back yet? I looked everywhere. She's probably at a friend's house. This is not like her. You don't understand. If she was okay, she would have called me back. I'm sorry, Susan. I was gone 10 minutes. 15 tops. You work for her? Uh, I'm calling the police. Sue, she hasn't been gone 48 hours yet. They can't do anything. Uh, it's just a myth. If there's reasonable suspicion of a crime, the police can act immediately. I'll call John. He'll help. Especially when I show him this. Where is it? Where'd it go? And where did what go? There was an envelope here with Frank's notes. It's not here. Was Christy messing around in here last night? When I first arrived, I didn't think anything of it at the time. So Christy and Frank's notes are missing? What a coincidence. Simmons, you said that, that Christy 
was here when, when you arrived. Uh-huh. 20 minutes, and when you got back here, she was gone. Is that correct? I didn't even know she left until Susan called and asked me to check on her. She was blasting her music all night, so I just figured that she was still up there. And, and that was what time? Around 9.30. It was uh, 9.25. I checked the time on myself. But Christy's call came in earlier. Okay, and, and exactly when was, was that call? Uh, when we landed. <clears throat> I was uh, actually talking to Susan. Well, I didn't hear the message till later, but she made the call at 8.43. Here, listen. At first I thought it was just a pocket call, but um, now I hear the words happened and go listen. Okay, Susan, I'll have the call analyzed, but it still doesn't help prove that she was kidnapped. All right, uh, you were here at 843. Uh, I, I, I think I'll ask the questions, thank you. Mr. Armstrong. Uh, yeah, I was going over some transcripts. Christy was up in her room. Uh, you said that she was alone. As far as I know. I know my daughter. Something happened to her. Well, I need a little more to go on than just a mother's intuition, so... Look, Susan's daughter is missing. Susan is not under suspicion, and neither is Christy, or do I have that wrong? Everyone is under suspicion when a crime is committed, especially family. You, as a... I can take some of the blame. I came by and distracted Susan right after she got that phone call from the art gallery. I didn't mean to. Okay, look, someone is jeopardizing this investigation. Those files are vital in finding Frank's killer, and not to mention trying to find out who abducted Ashley Whitmore. Which is why we called the police. That's your job. But nothing went missing except for the files and Christy. I don't like your attitude, John. For all we know, Christy took the files and is out there somewhere right now playing detective. Christy wouldn't do that. She would not. No. Okay, come on, the little Miss Detective who is... As far as Susan's concerned, she's been very cooperative. She's given you her statement, so if you want to continue this, this line of questioning, then read her her rights and book her. Oh. Well, on what charge? Exactly. What are you, her lawyer? Yeah, I am now. What are you doing? You're supposed to be burning those. Oh, you don't want to hear about how close Frank Baker was to catching us? Yeah, I do, actually. Well, it looks like he was suspecting your sister. He wrote something here. Has that kind of information. Okay, the Whitmore girl was supposed to be an easy payday. And now we have to make two girls disappear. Permanently. I just came by to make sure that you're all right and that you don't do anything stupid. One too many sleeping pills or 
kill myself? When someone loses a loved one, it's known to happen. Uh, Terry, if this is your idea of helping me, I don't think I need it. I'm all right. I'll be around if you need anything. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Maybe she did take Frank's notes, like more suggested. <sighs> she didn't know about his notes. I purposely didn't tell her, so she wouldn't. So unless she found them herself. And maybe she did. It was possible. One thing I don't understand is why you didn't go to Detective Morris with Frank's notes in the first place. I know you, Sue. Wouldn't just slip your mind. You must have had a reason. And that he thinks three people were involved in the kidnapping. So you think Morris might have been involved? Frank should have had backup that night. I never liked John's alibi. And who's going to know more about the case than the, than the detectives working on it? OK, OK. So you think John came here last night, that, that he waited for Terry to leave, then he came, found the notes, and took Christy? Why? She never would have let a stranger in here. It had to be someone that she knew. It had to be. Her necklace. The one she never took off. Oh my God. She left it here. It's a, it's a clue. She is in danger. Okay. We can't rely on the cops. We got to be proactive. Let's just bypass the whole system. Let's go straight to the media. Can you set up a press conference? Watch me. I can't believe what you two have done. So just drop it. Not until you drop her. Drop who? The Baker girl. She can ID us all. She needs to vanish forever. Make it happen. Susan needs handling. Now I suggest you both vanish when this is done, or we'll all be doing time for murder and kidnapping. Yeah, with what money, Terry? Can't collect much with a dead girl. Now just get out of my house and get out of my life now. really don't like the way she thinks she can boss us around, Wade. Me neither. But I also don't like the idea of killing an innocent girl. You got another solution? I guess Terry didn't have a choice when she off Frank Baker. We believe she was taken uh, the day before last. We're appealing to the press and the public for your help. Mother Susan would like to say a few words. Mom? I believe this is the latest kidnapping since the disappearance of Ashley Whitmore and the string of abductions that took place two years ago. Please, if anyone has any information, contact me or the police. She's 15, she's 5'6", she has brown hair. She was wearing a blue plaid shirt and she was wearing no jewelry. Go, Mom. I repeat. No, Jewel. So, how much are you guys asking? What? For my ransom. 
You know, my mom will pay anything. So, how much? <laughs> Your mom's not rich, she's an artist. <laughs> of course she is. She just had a big exhibit at the Stoppard Galleries in San Francisco. Her sculptures sell for big bucks. She's got millions in the bank. Really? Millions? Go on. Easily. She lives off my dad's pension and then banks the rest. I'm sure she'll give you whatever you want, as long as you show her I'm alive and well. And I'll cooperate. Damien? Uh, yeah? Can I speak to you upstairs for a sec? Well, of course you can. <laughs> Susan. Hi. I saw you on the news. Uh, I'm sorry, if you're busy, I can come back. Oh, no, no, no. Come on in. Come on in. Chad was just leaving. Yeah, I'm going to field some calls, so I'll check in on you later. Yeah, okay. I'll be great. Harry's here. Okay. Christy left this. The necklace that Frank gave her. She never takes this off. Never. Where, where did you find it? Right here. She left it on purpose. Unless the kidnappers left it as a warning. Well, if it was a warning, do you think it was a really good idea speaking with the media? Well, I'm not going to do nothing. I understand. I, I, I just can't believe someone could have taken her while I was gone. Honey, don't be so hard on yourself. They were stalking you or they're waiting for you to leave. I just can't believe that, like, no one's reached out to me for a ransom or anything. I mean, that just makes us different from all the other kidnappings, you know? Well, no news is good news, right? Yeah, I hope so. Is someone here? Did you really think the Maybe we shouldn't panic, John. They're taking our children. Yeah, Sue, it's made it harder for us to track down real leads with all the false calls and... and Wait a second. I thought you didn't have any leads. <sighs> we do on the Whitmore girl. We found a torch stolen car in an empty lot. Someone said they saw that exact vehicle driving around the neighborhood that Ashley Whitmore was last seen in. We also feel that we may have found what looks to be her backpack in the trunk. Anything else? Yeah. Tire tracks from another vehicle near the burnt car. Red ash? Wait a second. Frank wrote about red ash in his notes. I remember. I thought maybe that... Oh, sorry, I... Oh, this is, um, Terry, my neighbor. Babysitter, right. Sounds like you two have a lot to talk about. I'll just be next door if you need me. Oh, my God. Sue, what is it? <sighs> Stop what is it? looking for your daughter or we will kill her. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Come here. Come here. Let me get you some water. I'll be okay, She wasn't lying about her mother. There's a big gallery opening at Baker Sculptures the other night. Hmm. Babe. If we could get our hands on that kind of money, we could really disappear for good. If she can identify as Kendra, if she lives, we're dead. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm well aware. But we can still get the money if we're... Take the money in exchange for clues to the location where they could find her. And I mean, by that point, she won't be breathing anymore. We'll already be in Mexico. 
or Switzerland. Just you, me, and a bag of money. What about Terry? God, what about Terry? Sorry, Wade, your sister's a psycho bitch. I hate the way she treats us, like she's so superior because of her education. If it wasn't for her connections, we would never have found those students in the first place. Wade, if she hadn't killed Frank Bay... Let's do it. I'm gonna need to use your phone, okay? I'm gonna take it down and have the guys at the lab trace this text. Do me a favor, just leave this to the professionals. I promise you, I will find her. Why, you found Frank's killers. So... is getting way too dangerous for you and Christy. Maybe you should lay down, rest for a while. Yeah. I just, I think it's so strange that the kidnappers are not asking for a ransom. Doesn't that seem wrong to you? There's a lot wrong, but just let the cops figure it out, okay? See? Not monsters. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, eat up. When you're done, we're gonna shoot your little video for your mommy. Sue, you gotta lead. Cops got a call from a guy who works in a gas station. He caught Chrissy's picture on the news and thinks he may have seen someone matching her description. Well, can you pick me up on the way? I really don't think that's a good idea. Well, I am looking at red ash that wasn't here before. Didn't Frank mention something about red ash in his notes? He did. In the National Forest. I grew up going there as a kid. There's red dirt all over the place. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you think the kidnappers were at your house? I know they were. I'll be there in 15. Okay, okay, let's go. Come on, let's do this. Let's go. You are our million dollar baby. And I'll tell everyone you guys were masked the whole time so I couldn't identify you. Yeah, I know you won't. So what do you want me to say then? Help you? Yeah. Are you the one who called about the missing girl? Uh, yeah, but I already talked to the police about it. Well, now you can talk to us. This is the girl's mother. Is this the one you saw? I, I didn't get a great look, but I think so. Uh, the people she was with were calling her Jenny. Older one. Could have used a wash. Did you catch the license plate? Uh, not really. But if it was her, she's with this sketchy guy with a beanie and, and, and this pretty redhead, and she bought some ice cream and use the bathroom. Ice cream? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Made a comment about her sweet tooth. What flavor was it? I was kind of a little more looking at the girl than the flavor. <laughs> uh, it might have been um, a chocolate something. Chocolate chip mint, it's your favorite. OK, Sue, but a lot of people like chocolate chip mint doesn't prove that we're here. I thought so, but when she got back to the van, the Jenny girl was with her, and that's when she fell. That's when I saw her. Oh, I, I think she dropped this. Is that Christie's? No, she doesn't use this brand or this color. Where's the porta potty? Right outside. Is there any other 
there anything else you can remember? Hey, what about this tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Christy, hey, go, go over there. Go, 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 go. Good girl. Okay. Mom, it's me. I've been kidnapped, and they want one. <coughs> hey. <coughs> Hey. Hey. Are you okay? I think I <coughs> swallowed a bug. What, you need some water? Watch her. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Shut your mouth. Wait! She's getting away! Go! Christy! Get back here! Christy, stop! I said stop! Christine, come on, sweetheart. I just want to chat. Keep going. I'll head her off. Christine! Back here! <sighs> Christy, stop! Now! <sighs> yeah. No, nothing. Keep looking, she couldn't have gone far. Yeah. Is it done? Almost. What does almost mean? Not quite, very nearly, not far from. Oh, cut the crap, Wade. I need to hear she's dead, and that's all. You know, if you keep screwing this up, that's it. I'm coming up there. Taking care of this myself. 